Where's your friend? <laughs> My basketball buddies. Uh huh. He's cute. What's his story? Not interested in you. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. And what's wrong with me? Apparently, a complete lack of self awareness. <laughs> Look, you're gonna suck him dry with some drama. He's gonna blame me, and then I'm gonna lose a buddy. Oh hell, but once he sees your Barry Manilow action figure, he's gonna run anyway. Shame to be a Barry Manilow uh -huh. fan. Barry Manilow's the man. Oh. white to clean. Speaking of white, Antoinette Marie Childs, why didn't you tell me your fiance was a Jewish boy? Uh, how'd you find out? I Googled him on my PC. <laughs> Eugene, come on in here. She's alone and she's decent. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> How's my baby girl? I'm getting married. Eugene? I told her we know all about the whiteness. <laughs> and the Jewishness. And now, Veretta? Don't now Veretta me! I'm so in shock, I'm in shit! <laughs> Look, Mama, I wasn't trying to hide anything. She don't never tell you nothing, Mama. I invited y'all down here to meet Todd's parents, didn't I? Only because you couldn't put it off any longer. I didn't tell you ahead of time because I didn't want to hear all of this. Oh, what? All y'all's racist talk. I ain't racist, I just don't care. <laughs> and I surely ain't racist. I'm a God-fearing Christian woman. Mommy, you are racist. When I was dating Hassan, you ran him off just because he was a Muslim. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with pork? <laughs> we raise pork. You can eat pork. Those pigs put shoes on y'all feet. But really, I just drove all the way down here from Fresno listening to all your clucking. Now lay your egg and get over it. I'm just saying, Eugene, Tony and her fiance can worship any way they want, but my grandchildren will be washed in the blood of the Lamb. <laughs> Right. You know, nothing against you and Todd, but you know, I hope Jabari brings somebody home just like his mama. Black and Christian. <laughs> oh yeah, and cute. Lord knows I don't want no ugly grandbabies. You know, the problem's organized religion. Mm. Oh hell, here uh, we go. No, no, no. Nothing in the course of human history has divided people more than organized religion. Just name one conflict raging in the world right now that is being waged in the name of God. You know, Lynn, I hope you fine too that speech right before you meet with the devil. Tony, ultimately, it doesn't matter what your mother thinks of Todd or his religion. Oh, I'm not worried about what my mama thinks. I'm just worried about my mama meeting Todd's parents, spitting water on them, attempting some sort of kamikaze baptism. <laughs> The Klingons haven't been evil since the Battle of Kittim. That's their whole ruse. The minute we get wrapped up in this Borg thing, the Klingons are gonna swoop in and destroy our whole way of life. <laughs> oh. oh my, William Dent? Oh my, word. <laughs> what a surprise. I mean, Maya! Wilkes. <laughs> Hi, it's really uh, nice to meet you. Evan Jameson. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Maya, shouldn't you be home with Jabari, the son you had when you were 16? <laughs> He's with his daddy tonight. Oh. Oh, you're married. Divorced. Mm. Thanks for one of those single mothers. <laughs> we all know how they can be. <laughs> I love kids. Oh, really? Well, we have something in, in common. Um, what else do you like? I love to buy you a drink. Well, I'll have a Cosmo, please. William, get up and let the lady have a seat. Yes, William. Mm -hmm. 
This isn't over. Oh, <laughs> you're right, because he didn't have my number yet. Now get on. <laughs> Which one of these pillows are we supposed to sleep on? You know what, Eugene? I've decided I'm gonna say something. Leave it alone, Loretta. It's her life. It's her wedding. Mm-mm. I gotta say what's in my heart. Antoinette, get in here! Woman, why do you always have to be stirring things up? And why do you want this family choking on secrets and lies? Yes, Mama, he's still Jewish. What? Well, ain't nobody thinking about that, boy. Come on in here and sit down. Oh. Come on. Now, your daddy and I, we Leave feel... me out of this, Beretta. Tony, why isn't Sherry one of your bridesmaids? Because I don't want her to be. She don't even like me, Mama, and you know it. So you gonna let your friends stand up beside you but not your blood? Melanie's in my wedding. But Sherry's not. And neither is Eunice. Now, you know damn well Eunice is over there in Iraq serving her country. Now, I don't believe in blood for oil, but we're not on that right now. <laughs> we're on your wedding. The most important day of your life, and your big sister's not part of it. Mama, I told you to leave it alone. I don't even want to be in her funky little wedding. Good! Then everybody agrees. Oh, so you could have had the decency to ask me, but then why would I expect decency when you only think about yourself? Sherry? I'm not going to be tiptoeing around you, okay? So you can just leave. I didn't want to be here in the first well, place. Well, then go. You know yeah, no, 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 no. Now, this is not right. You two are sisters. And all that hate, you love each other. Now, I want you to find it. Ain't no love to find. She's your sister. So? Tony, don't turn your back on your sister. Let it go, Mama. I don't love her either. Oh, honey, don't say that. Eugene, did you hear that? I told you to leave it alone. <laughs>as much as I enjoy being the butt of your mother's jokes, I am also the hostess with a house full of very hungry people. And what's your excuse? Well, I'm helping Joan, and I'm one of those hungry people. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit, I had some issues with your boy being Jewish. I had to sit with that for a while. <laughs> but now that I've met him, I can see Todd's a fine young man. He's short, though. <laughs> No bigger than a minute. Okay. All right. See, everyone's met Mama. She's always speaking her mind, even when nobody's interested. You know, we've had to make some adjustments, too, what with Tony being black, Christian, tall and all. <laughs> Mom, uh, it's African-American, and oh. she's really not that much taller, right. and we're past that now, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> we're, uh, we're all family. Right. And as parents, we know the most important thing is that our children be happy. Mm. Yeah. Believe me. I mean, once we accepted that Todd's brother was a cross-dresser, <laughs> <laughs> everything else after that was a piece of cake. <laughs> so Todd has a brother? Or a sister. Depends on the day. <laughs> and I bet they love each other. We're a very, very close family. Well, have you ever heard tell of two sisters who hate each other? Mama. Don't oh, mama me. We're damn near family now. If they can talk about that freak of a son, daughter. I can talk about how I ended up with two girls from the same womb with hate in their hearts. Rutter, can't you make your point without bringing up your plumbing? Oh, hush, Eugene. Don't be dwelling on my uterus when it's my heart that hurts. Mama, what's in your glass? My drink and none of your business. Oh, damn, Retta. What is this? Gin? It's a blue sapphire martini, straight up. <laughs> and if you're going to be calling out your mama's drink, get it right and get me another. <laughs> Why now? You've been sober for 16 years. Oh, shut up, girl. Oh, God. Oh, oh, that's right? all right, that's all right. We meant to sit down. <laughs> Retta, 
Come on now, you've embarrassed yourself enough. Now let's go. I ain't going nowhere. Mr. and Mrs. Garrett, I'm so sorry. No, honey, don't worry. I mean, we've all had a little bit to drink. It's a festive occasion. <laughs> festive, my aunt! <laughs> I'm drunk because I'm hurt. I got two daughters I love and they hate each other. This one's mad because she had to take care of me. And this one's mad because she feels guilty she ran out on me. Mommy, don't worry about them. That's just how they are. Rather, we're going. Gone, then. <laughs> Sherry, you handle this. I'll be in the truck. Come on, Pumpkin. Molly, I'm sorry you had to see your mama like this. But I gotta fix this mess betwixt and between your sisters. It's my fault. I made the mess. I'll clean it up. Sherry, do something. I always did it. Why don't you do it? Mama, get up. Like so, I mean. What? You emotionally abuse your sister, now you want to physically abuse your mama? Stop it. <laughs> you hear me? Stop it. I mean I'll it. I'll call the law. Shut up. I'm not too drunk to dial 911. <laughs> Forget this. Wait, Tony. No, let Tony run out on her mama again. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you and your parents go ahead with Tony? We, we can handle this. We can? Yes. We've been here before. No, I haven't. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, I guess we'll see everyone in the morning for breakfast. Ah, oh, you little midget. <laughs> or not. Okay, Mrs. Childs, uh, I know that you're upset and maybe we should just make some coffee and we can all talk about it. Now that's all I need, is some therapy from a stank hole. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, Veretta. That's enough. I want you to go and lay down in the back and I'm gonna call your sponsor. Let's oh, go. Oh, relax. The fat one know what to do. Oh, three more. One, two, three. That's right, baby. Get your mom up. And after you get me in the truck, you come back in here and get your mama a doggy bag. Because them crab cakes was good. Hey. Look, I'm sorry I ran out before, but I'm here now. Where's she? The back? They went back to Fresno, Tony. Well then, cool. All my problems is drove up the five. <laughs> I know we joked about your mother being a drunk back in the day. But your mother was drunk tonight. I know, Joan. I was there. And all you can think about is the fact that you're happy she's gone? Oh, and I'm also thinking about how wish she never came. <sighs> Come on, Tony. You don't mean that. The hell I don't. Look, I know that you're mad and you're embarrassed. You don't know nothing until you've had a drunk mother, okay, Lynn? Tony. What? See, all we're saying is that maybe now isn't the time to bail on your mom. Well, what is a good time, Joan? Huh? Should I wait until she's drunk at my baby shower? Your mom is sick. Tony, your mom is an alcoholic. That's her problem. You're right, it is her problem. And it's okay to be mad. But you're not a kid anymore, Tony. Y you can confront your feelings about your mother and deal with this like an adult. Okay, fine. I'll send her a gift certificate to the Sizzler. She loves a salad bar. That's so funny. Me too. <laughs> hey, guys. What's going on? <gasps> What's tonight your big date? Yeah, man, it is. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just passing through the neighborhood. Just like Maya was the other day. I'm going to check on the table.
All right, looks like this is gonna be Andy Knapp all over again. Oh, hell, William. Is this another one of your childhood Boo Boo the Fool stories? No. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> but the moral to that story was I don't have a lot of guy friends and I want to keep the ones that I got. Well, William, I don't want to give him up either. I mean, do you know how hard it is to find a fun, hip, straight man in this town? Do you know how hard it is to find a fun, hip, Civil War buff under 70 in this town? <laughs> Why can't we just share him? Because he's mine. Oh, well, I'm on a date with him, so apparently he's mine. Look, Winch, either you give him up, or I'll tell him you have an STD. Okay, well, you know what? I'll tell him that you're gay. <laughs> He's gonna believe that. Oh, yeah. He will once I tell him about the Barry Manilow doll. Get out of I came to check on Mama. Well, now you acting all concerned. I'm sick and tired of you blaming me for getting out of this hell hole. It's not my fault you didn't have the strength to leave. You didn't have the strength to stay. Stay for what? So I can work at Value Pig and eat my dinner in front of Wheel of Fortune? Better than spreading my legs for the highest bidder. I don't need this. Maybe I do resent you for leaving. I'm tired of fighting, Sherry. If you want to be in the wedding, you can be in the wedding. It's not about the wedding. It's about the fact that you never respected me. How could I respect you when you hated me? How could I hate you when I damn near raised you? You are not my mama. Who gave you your bath at night? Who got you ready for school? Who combed your hair? Who helped you with your homework? Hell, girl, I did your homework! <laughs> Who got you your first training bra? Who was there when you hyperventilated over getting your first period? Who worked a part-time job? So I can help you buy those Jordan's jeans like Joan had. Who do you think fed you to dream that you could get the hell out of here, Tony? So what do you want me to say, Sherry? Thank you? Yes! Yes. I told you you could be in the wedding. <laughs> Can't you just say it? I only want to hear thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you for then, and thank you for now. I know I don't come up here as often as I should, but I know Mom and Daddy are okay because you're here. Listen, you're still young. You can still get out, start over. Todd and I are about to buy our own house. You could move to L.A. and live in the condo for free. Why would I move down to L.A. when I'm about to make manager at Value Pick? Is that good? 30% off, full health and dental, and one pair of eyeglasses a year. You do the math. You did my homework, you do the math. <laughs> Tony, I chose this life. I'm happy. I just want you to respect that. I'll respect it. I don't understand it. <laughs> but I will respect it. I thought that was baby girl's car in front. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> hey, baby. Mm. Hey, Mama. Supper's on the stove. Don't be studying me. I'm okay. Yeah, she's gonna be all right. We just came from one of our 12 step meetings. And cause your mama's so smart, I'm already on the 12th step. Loretta. All right, nice. <laughs> That's the step where you make direct amends. I'm sorry I embarrassed you in front of Todd's people. I like Todd. He's got a good soul. You just work on bringing that soul to the law. Guess who's gonna be in Tony's wedding? What? Antoinette, is that true? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Eugene, I finally got something I can toast to and I can't even drink. <laughs> you 
just had to date him. Well, he was cute. I didn't know his jibber jabber was gonna get on my nerves. I had to curse him out. Well, now he won't call me back either. Well, I did you a favor, William. All that boy talked about was stamp collecting this and Star Trek that. That's why he was perfect for me. <laughs> well, next time, I'm out. <laughs>